Right. Is there a spare tambourine? Right, good. So leave one for me, please. But we're going to stand and we're going to praise God and just open this wonderful occasion for you tonight. Um, just stand to your feet if you can for me, please. Stand to your feet. We're going to just open and pray. Grab the hand of the person beside you for, for me, please. Say to your neighbor, neighbor, I'm going to be blessed. But I know you're going to get blessed. Next name, for next name, said neighbor. I'm gonna get double blessed, but I know you're gonna get double blessing too. <laughs> Amen. So, how many of you are gonna be blessed tonight? Do you believe it tonight? Yeah. Amen. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are good, you're mighty, you're righteous, you're holy. Father, we ask you that as we are here tonight, here to enter into your presence. We're not delivering a performance. We're ushering in your presence. So we ask you, Father, as we are here tonight, let us receive. We're recipients of your moving of your Holy Spirit. We are already excited that you're going to move here. So we ask you, Father God, to let our hearts be open to receive. And Lord, I'm already excited that what you will do will be a new thing. Saturate this sanctuary with your Holy Spirit. Let us not leave from here tonight the same. Let us leave from here blessed beyond expectations, beyond our words or our anticipation, that, Lord, we will say to the spaces that are around us that it has been a blessing tonight. Those who are on the way, let them come quickly. Those that are here, Lord God, we enter into your presence quickly. And we thank you, Lord God, for what you're going to do tonight in Jesus' name. And we say, we say, church says, give the Lord a hand and clap. I want to welcome on stage, presence. Come on, let's get church ready, get ready for church tonight. Amen. Bless the Lord. Oh, come on, church of God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my hands. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my feet. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise will be in me rocking my head. But I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my, in my, so let the people of God, hallelujah, we bless your name, Father. We honor and adore you. We give you the fruit of our lips tonight. We've come to honor you. We've come to magnify you. We've come to exalt you, to lift up your name. For you are great, and you are greatly to be praised. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus tonight. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. There's been a scripture that, and the team, I've said it a couple of times uh, on this tour. And I believe it's the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 15. And it says to let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of our lips. And I thought, okay, well, a, a, a sacrifice has, because I grew up singing, we bring a sacrifice of praise. And we grew up singing these songs, and sometimes we sing these songs, so we don't really know what they mean. And so I was like, what actually is the sacrifice of praise? Am I, am I collecting the fatted calf to put... What is the sacrifice of praise if we are no longer offering the blood of rams? What is the sacrifice of praise? Well, if it's a sacrifice, it has to cost you something. So if a sacrifice has to cost you something, and what you bring into the house didn't cost you anything, what did you bring? If it doesn't cost you anything, therefore it's not a sacrifice, 
what did you bring? If we are supposed to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with a sacrificial praise, what did you bring before the master tonight? And so I hope you came with thanksgiving. I hope you came with a praise. Sometimes it's so easy to seek God's hand and not his face. But tonight we're coming just to seek his heart, just to seek his face, not for what our God can do, but for what we can offer up to him. Amen? Okay, we're going to get into this first song. The Bible says, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say, and again, I say, and again, I say, come and put your hands together. It goes like this. Come bless the Lord, come bless the Lord. Draw near to worship Christ the Lord. And bless his name, his holy name. Declaring he is good. Come bless the Lord, come bless the Lord. Draw near to worship Christ the Lord. And bless his name, his holy name. Declaring he, let's go to the top. Come bless. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord. Join me to worship Christ the Lord. Can we put the words bless back, please? Thank you. His holy name, declaring His name. Hold that man. All that man would praise Him. All that man would praise Him. Sing rejoice. Him. Rejoice in the Lord. Oh, and again I say. Again I say. Again I say. I will. And you cannot say, 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 his holy name declare Oh, all that man would All that man would praise All that man would praise him Sing, I will rejoice in the Lord And again I say, I will say Of the Lord, you've been my help And again I say, again I say I will with the Lord
trying to run two tours, run a tour and be on another tour at the same time. I'm trying to plan a live album recording. It's been a lot. But again, I say rejoice in the face of stress. That's the sacrifice of praise. All right. This next song is a song I wrote. We're going to have the words up on the screen and they're going to stay on the screen by the grace of God. Amen. Bless the Lord. <laughs> this is a song the Lord gave me called You Are the chorus is so easy to catch. So worship with us as we sing. My sustainer provider you are, keep and your my restorer. The Lord who gives and taketh away, for all you've done, I will bless your name. You are alone. You sit. I am on the throne. You are God alone. You sit. I am on the throne. You are Victor Champion. Conquering lion tribe. You overcame both hell, so I will hope, so you are the
That's your reason to give God praise right there. That's your reason to lift up your voice right there. That's the point. That's the point of praise. You want to open up your mouth and bless the Lord. You want to open up your mouth and give God the praise he deserves. Let everything, let everything that has breath Praise ye the Lord. Let everything, broken things, healing things, things waiting for answers, things that can't pay bills, things in grief, things in depression. Let everything that has breath, that has breath, that's not on a ventilator. Let everything, let everything, let everything, everything. Let the chorus of creation sing. Let the creator's creation sing. Everything that has breath, praise, 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 praise the Lord.
try, I'm trying to pace my way out of, out of being overwhelmed. Excuse me for a minute. When I give God some crazy praise, because I know when I look back, when I look back over what he's brought me through. Huh, but if it hadn't been for the Lord on my side, I feel churchy tonight. Where would I be? The Bible says the Lord. The Lord says, the Bible says that the Lord is a present help in times of trouble. Psalms 46, verse 1. A present help in times of trouble. He says that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He says that his strength is made perfect in your weakness. I'm just giving you a couple of reasons to give God praise, but you can, you can jump, jump in at any point. One, you connect with one. The Lord, the word says that he's a provider. That when he gives peace, it's peace that the world cannot even understand. That's the word of the Lord that you have to hide in your heart when you're going through. When you're going through hard times and you're trying to find your way through and you haven't downloaded the King James Version on the U Version app, so you can't get to the Bible, that's why you got to have it here. You got to hide that assurance here. You got to hide that word in your heart. So that regardless of what you come up against, See, when Jesus was in the wilderness, the word was in him, even though he was the word. The point is the word was in him. So when Satan came, he knew to use the word. And the pro I feel this for someone. The problem is, is you keep trying to fight in your own strength, but you gotta get in the word to use the word. Huh. T turn to somebody and say, you gotta get in the word to use the word. I don't know who that's for, but for somebody, you're trying everything else. And nothing else is working. God said, you've got to get in my word. Because the word is a weapon. Not only that, but the word is a guide. A lamp onto my feet. And a light to my path. Where would we go without the light? So this song says you've got to hide it in your heart. Let not mercy or truth forsake me. But I've got to hide the word in my heart. Goes like this. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Write them on the tablet of your heart. I'm gonna hide your word in my heart. I'll write them on. Let's go to the verse. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me will forever be fruitful in me. I am the way. And the life, no one gets to the Father except that He comes to me. So let not mercy and truth sing forsake you, forsake you. Let not mercy and truth sing forsake you, forsake you. the verse one more time. I am the vine, you are the branches, he who abides in me will forever be fruitful in thee. God says, I am the way, the truth and the life, no one gets to the Father, except 
Nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest grace, but wholly trust in Jesus' name. Christ alone, cornerstone, weak made strong. The Savior's love through the storm. He is Lord, Lord of all. Christ alone, Christ alone, alone. the Lord is strong. The Savior is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. Christ alone, Christ alone. Hope is built Then Jesus' blood I dare not trust But holy, holy need Let's do it one more time My hope Then Jesus' blood I dare not trust the sweetest friend, holy, holy trust, sing Christ alone, Christ alone, for us all, we may join, the Savior, through the storm, through the storm, the Oh! 
the Lord. Whatever you're fighting, he is the Lord. Whatever you're up against, he is the Lord. He is the Lord. Lord of all, He's still the Lord. He's the Lord. He's the Lord. So I will hide Your word in my heart. I will hide Your. I will hide Your. Word in my heart, I will hide your word in my heart. That I'm loved, I will hide your word in my heart. That I'm set free, I will hide your. That there's someone fighting for me. That weeping and joys for an hour, but joy is coming. Your word tells me I'm loved. Your word tells me I'm loved. Your word tells me I'm loved. I'll never forget that. Your word tells me I'm loved. Your word tells me I'm loved. Your word tells me I'm loved. I'll never forget that. So whatever comes, I'm not shaken. I'm not persuaded. Because I know who loves me. I know who's on my side. I know that there's a father with arms wide open. Always ready to hold me. Always ready to embrace me. Your word. And I'll never forget. And I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget. I'll never forget that. Never forget. I'll never forget. Said I'll never forget that you died for me. You died for me. Thinking of me. Jesus Oh what love you have for us That you died just thinking of us Thank you for Calvary Jesus You didn't have to do it but you did it for us Jesus the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word put on flesh and dwelt among us, and the Word was crucified, 
and the word was buried. When the word got up, so I will hide your word in my heart. I will hide resurrection power in my heart. I'm going to hide victory, victory in my heart. I will hide perfect love in my heart. When bitterness tries to creep in, I will hide your word in my heart. 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 In my heart. Mercy, there was great and grace who was free. Pardon, there was multiplied to me. Oh, there my burden so found liberty at Calvary. Oh, pardon that was multiplied to me, and now my burden so found liberty had covered me. Mercy that was great. Jesus paid the price, so for us it was free. Pardon, there was multiplied to me. There, my burdened soul found liberty. Where he just in this moment, just he goes at my hiko kosi bika kinde be kuko si la by hate ba koshia. Come on in this moment, let let us give gratitude a sound. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That even in the times when we ignore you, God, thank you, Jesus. That you still answer, that you still hear, that you never leave. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that in our filthy state, God, thank you, Jesus, you still come and you dwell with us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One thing I've learned being a worship leader and being someone who knows what it's like when you're just 
too tired. When you're just too tired to, to give God the praise. And when you're just too tired to even ask for the help that you know you need. I've learned that there is an interdependency that's crept into corporate worship. That we can be in the presence of the Lord waiting for the presence of the Lord. We can be in the presence of the Lord waiting and asking for the presence of the Lord. This is what it looks like. God, I'm sweating so much. God, I just need a flannel. God, please, I just need a flannel. I just need something to wipe. God, please, don't you hear me? God, please. I just need a flannel to wipe the sweat away. And it's all ready here. I say that to say, let us not get into the habit of asking for his presence and then when he comes. We continue to ask and we continue to wait. So in this atmosphere where the presence of the Lord is falling upon us we have asked for his presence we have made our request known and the Lord has answered so just for a moment we got lots of songs I promise but just for a moment while his presence while our request has been answered let us lift up holy let us lift up holy hands to him for he is worthy of the praise let us lift up our hearts in worship for the king is here come on Zion his presence is here oh father we worship you we bow before you we honor your presence Father, we reverence you. We reverence you. I want to sing this to every lonely heart. He goes before me. To every soul wondering if they're alone on this journey. Defender behind me. To every weary soul. I won't fear. I'm filled with anointing. My cup's overflowing. No weapon can harm me. I won't fail. The Lord is my shepherd. He goes before me. Defender behind me. 
I won't fail. I'm filled with anointing. My cup's overflowing. No weapon can harm me. I won't fail. Beef. 
before me. I know who stands behind the God of angel armies is always by my side. The one who reigns forever, he is a friend of mine. The God of angel armies. I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. The God of angel armies. He's always by. The one who reigns. Change the words. He's a friend of mine. God of angel armies. He's always by. Sing, I know. I know who stands behind. The God of angel armies. He's always by. The one who To worry, you don't have to cry in the men now. He's always by. He's always by my side. Emmanuel, our Father, ever present, is always by. He's always by my side. I know who goes before me. I know who stands behind. For God of angel armies is always. By my side, the one who reigns forever. He is a friend of mine, the one who reigns forever. He is a picture that creator God, the one who reigns forever. He is a friend of mine. The God of angel armies is always by my side. Side. By my side. He's by your side. He's by your side. He's by your, 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 your. Turn to your left, he's by your side. Turn to your right, he's by your side. Look behind you, he's right by your side. Right by your side. You're not alone. You're not alone. 
You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. He's by your side. He's by your side. If you just hold his hand and walk with him, he's by your side. By your side. Walk with him. Walk with him. He's by your side. Talk with him. He's by your side. He's by your side. see someone I see you on the phone God problem come you're on the phone bad news you're on the phone another trouble comes you're on the phone calling everybody when you don't even know that the answer is by your side when you don't even know that the creator God is by your side and I hear the spirit of the Lord saying you are leaning on everyone else but me everyone else but me I can I can see I can see you on the phone and I see you scroll through your contact list who can I call I see you scrolling through your contact list who can I call let me try this one and that friend doesn't quite give you the advice that hits the spot and so you try another friend and that friend what they have to say doesn't quite hit the spot but there is a God there is a father there is one who sticks closer than a brother who says this in the book of Jeremiah it says come to me and I will tell you great and mighty things that you do not know but you gotta come to me I'm by your side, but you got to let me walk with you. I grew up singing an old chorus that used to say, if you call at midnight, the Holy Ghost hears and he answers. He hears and he answers. I need someone to get that in their spirit today. He hears and he answers. When the word says, him, I cry, oh Lord, Attend unto my prayer. God has a perfect attendance record. He will always show up. Even if it's not when you think you need him. His timing is perfect. His timing is perfect. You are never alone. Because it's lean on me again. Trust me again. God is not like the people that broke your heart. God is not like the people that let you down. But God's the one that let me down. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. I promise you God's timing is perfect. His timing is perfect. You're not alone. I promise you're not alone. There's a there's a hymn, and we, you know we all know we sing it all the time. I think sometimes when we sing something so frequently or we know it so well, it's so easy to not really think about it. But it just says, what a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, our sins and griefs to bear. Everything to God.
If you're a little newer in the faith, you might know that message a little differently. And he says, Who am I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call? Is it true that you thinking of me how you love me it's amazing I am a friend of God I am a friend of God I am a friend of God he calls me for your good. God is not sleeping. What the enemy meant for evil, God is turning everything around. So I will not fail.
he sits on the right side of the Father, making intercession.
worthy of our prayers. My heart will sing. So let your heart sing. So let your heart sing. Uh -huh. See, we get so used to singing about it. So let your heart sing. The Bible says, sing unto the Lord a new song. That means let your life, let your testimony become a song. Let it become lyrics to the Father. Come on, Zion. Come on, let's sing. Let's lift up a new song. Let's lift up a new praise. Let's lift up a new sound. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. That's it, that's it, that's the sound of the worship. Don't stop there. That point where you want to stop, press past that. That point where you want to pause, pu push past that. Push past that. If you gotta come out from your seat, come out from your seat. Come on, this is the presence of the Lord. In the tabernacle, they didn't even have chairs. If you gotta get out of your seat, get out of your seat. But I hear the Holy Ghost say, I don't want no more songs. God says, I want the song of your heart tonight. Come on, God says, I want the song of your heart tonight. Come on, let's push deeper. Let's put Let's push deeper tonight. I speak to the rivers of living water inside of you. I break the dam, Makokoshia. I break the dam that's been, you feel like it's been blocking your praise. I see you've been praying and it feels like it's hitting the ceiling. But I break the dam tonight. I break the ceiling tonight. Come on, Zion, that's it. That's it, we're going to go deeper tonight. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah,
Yeah, come on, that's it. You're ushering him in. You're ushering him in all on your own. Come on, Zion. It's the tobacco holy because he. That's it. That's the point to press. That's the point to push. Come on, Zion. Come on, get your travail back tonight. Get your travail back tonight. Breakthroughs in your mouth. I can, there's a sound, I can hear it. It's coming. It's coming out of your belly tonight. I can hear it. It's the most to make it out. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Yes, God, yes, God. River flow, 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 flow. Come on, your breakthroughs in your mouth tonight. It's in your mouth tonight. It's in your mouth tonight. It's in your, tonight. It's in your belly tonight. You're gonna bring forth. You're gonna bring forth. is moving the river is flowing jump into the flow tonight jump into the flow tonight jump into the flow tonight I don't know what it is you've been waiting on God for I don't know what it is you've been warring over but God says I'm ready to move tonight I'm ready to move tonight, tonight. Well, you gotta send you the first tonight. Send your praise ahead of your problem. Like King Jehoshaphat said, God, our eyes are on you. And he sent the praise and worship leaders ahead of the battle and said, for his mercy endureth forever. Come on, send you the first. Send your praise first. your way through when you don't know what to do praise your way through praise your way through when you don't know what to do when you don't know what to do praise your way through praise your way through ha! when you don't know what to do 
when you don't know what to do praise your way through praise your way through when you don't know what to do when you don't know what to do praise your way through praise your way through when you don't know what to do when you don't know what to do praise your way through praise your way through when you don't know what to do when you don't know what to do praise your way through praise your way through when you don't know what to do when you don't know what to do praise your way praise your way through praise your way through praise your way praise your way through 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 praise your way through
throughout this entire tour, my team can tell you, I've said it till I'm blue in the face. But something that has been sticking with me through this entire tour is, he came to set the captives free. He came he came to set the captives free I know in my spirit if you know that you need prayer tonight come come I'm sure we can come back and sing more songs another time, but I feel this so strongly in my spirit. You know, and if you don't come, I won't feel ashamed. It's okay. But you know, Hikatibi, Kutobi, Kishata. I need to be free from unforgiveness or depression or anxiety or self Whatever it is, come today. The liberator is in the room. Where his spirit is, there is liberty. It is pointless to come to the liberator in bondage and leave bound. It's insanity. But tonight, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, liberty is coming to your door tonight. Liberty is coming to your door tonight. came to set the captives free. I said, that's literally the reason why he came. That was his whole assignment was for your freedom. Long before Jesus read it in the temple, Isaiah said it. And Jesus goes to the temple and reads the scroll of Isaiah years before his time. That's how important it was. So again, if you need prayer tonight, come. church of God <clears throat> if you're not at this altar we give God thanks we give God thanks but I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet and to pray for your brothers and sisters at the altar because if it was you at the front you would want a whole lot of help if he was going through so come on church let's pray let's pray let's pray Oh, come on, church of God. Let's pray. Let's pray and pray aloud. Come on. Let's put the enemy to shame tonight. Let's embarrass the kingdom of Hades tonight. Hit it.
Amen. Amen. Listen. I just felt this in my spirit. You know when um, when the prophet came to call David, he said to Jesse, call your sons. And all his sons came. And when each son came, the Holy Spirit said, no, not this one. And he said to Jesse, do you have no more sons? He said, I have one more, but he's in the fields. And he said, call him. And when he called him, immediately he knew this was the one. Hear this. Everybody ate the food at the inauguration service except David. David got nothing to eat, but what he got was anointing. His brothers got the food, but he got the oil. Listen, his brothers got the food, but he got the oil. Some of us are victims of being overlooked, being forgotten, being missed off the list, being unrecognized, and everybody ate at your party, but you never got none of the cake. But God says today, they had the food, but you're going to get the oil. So the oil, it comes as a seed thing, green thing. And to get the oil, I had to take the seed out first. And then they crush it and purify it. And when they crush it, and out of the crushing is the oil. Nobody knows the cost of the oil that the seed went through. Nobody will know what it means and what it feels like to be rejected and forgotten. But after the anointing, it changes everything. You know, I love boxing. And when a fighter's in the ring and he gets hit and he's bleeding and he's cut, and when the fight finishes, his face might be bruised and everything, but the referee says, and the winner is. And when the winner's name is called, he forgets about what he's been through because the victory is sweeter than the fight itself. When God calls you out, you're going to forget what you've been through because the victory was sweeter and better than what you ever went through. I want to speak to somebody who was forgotten who was never given any cake at the party, who was never even invited, who was overlooked, who they never ever thought that God would use. But God says, you're the one. If you are someone that's been forgotten, that they overlooked and never saw, never called your name, didn't even put your name on the list, you didn't even make the CV cut, they didn't even make the first letter cut, they didn't even know who was there, they had to ask, is there anybody else? God is saying tonight, is there anybody else? If you are here tonight saying, Lord, I've been forgotten, but I know there's a calling in my life. Just want to ask you just to come quickly because the, 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 prison, the, the incarceration of being forgotten and rejection must be set free tonight. If that's you, just come forward quickly, just quick. I'm going to give back to Brother James. Just, just come. If it's you, he said, Lord, I feel I'm a victim of being forgotten. You forgot about me. You're not getting me. They walked past you didn't even look at you did not even recognize you did not even mention your name refer to you as um but God says I know your name for I've called you by name if it's you one more time if it's you and Lord 
I was overlooked, I've been forgotten. But I know you have a calling on my life. Just come quick. Come quick. Not begging, inviting. You're not good enough. You don't have what it takes. You don't fit in, you don't match up. I got somebody else, I got somebody better. But God said, I've got somebody anointed. And God doesn't anoint you because your ability, He anoints you because of your heart. And tonight, God says, that spirit of rejection has been finished with. Tonight is promotion night. God said, I'm going to escort you through the path of everybody who ever hated you, who ever spoke about you, spoke down, spoke against you. God said, I'm going to escort you from the back seat to the front seat. I'm going to escort you like you've never been before. They forgot about you. They didn't recognize you. They didn't even think you was in the room. But God said, I'm going to set you apart. Every word said about you and against you is cursed tonight and removed. For no weapon formed against you will prosper. The devil would take rampage in your mind, but not tonight. Not tonight. But God says, I'm going to escort you. And when God escorts you, when God escorts you, he says to everybody else, get out of the way. Come here, come here, walk with him, come with him, walk with him. God said, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take you from the back to the front. And when I escort you, he says, get what, stand behind him. I'm going to make a way for you out of everything and everybody. I'm going to make security around you. Angels are going to be around you. Because I'm escorting you to a new level. I'm taking you from where you was to where you're going to be. I don't care who said what. I'm escorting you. I don't care who did what. I'm escorting you. And when I take you to the place where it is. You could not get here by yourself. But the Lord said, I'm going to put you here at a place higher that you didn't earn to get to, but my anointing took you here. So when you get here, nobody can touch you because my anointing got you to where you are. My covering is around you and I'm going to put people to raise your hands, raise his hand, my brother, so that you will raise your hand victoriously. Because I've done it for whom the Son has set free. Is free indeed. Your mind is at peace and at rest. And we'll say, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. I want to tell you this very quickly. David's brothers knew he was anointed. They couldn't say, couldn't do. Because they knew it was God. It was God. He was saying, I, I, I can't make it tonight, James. I, I don't feel I can be here tonight. But God said, I needed you to be here tonight. I need you to be in my presence. so we thank you Lord comes that what God has done with you what God has done in you and through you is mighty for his kingdom church I want you to refuse reject any idea of you're not worthy because son you're blessed you're anointed you're favored from this day forward look in the mirror 
tell yourself, encourage yourself, I'm blessed of God. Encourage yourself, I'm anointed of God. Encourage yourself, I'm favored of God. Encourage yourself, I'm a righteous of God. Encourage yourself, declare it, announce it, pronounce it. For God has put it upon you to his glory. I want to raise your hand, everybody. Just raise your right hand. Whatever you dominate the hand. I want to say this. Declare this right now. Dear Lord, I know that you love me, you care for me, and your promises are yes and amen. So I say yes, Lord, to your blessings. I say yes, Lord, to your favor. And I say amen to your grace. Everything said about me, everything said against me, I bind it in the name of Jesus. I send it back to its sender. For it has no residence in my heart and it has no residence in my mind. So I declare my life belongs to you. Your anointing belongs to me because I'm anointed by you for and to your glory. Amen. Looking at your neighbor, you're looking at somebody who's anointed. No, to find somebody that's believing, say, neighbor, you're looking at somebody who's anointed. Who's blessed of God? Come on, give God a praise. Amen. Well, in true presence fashion, we didn't get through half the songs. Which, you know, I said to the team, we started doing presents. First one was 2017. Consistently, 2017, 18, 19. 21, 22, we never get through the last set list consistently. God always just moves. Um, and it's wonderful. Amen? It's amazing. Um, so, I have to, have to be mindful of time and neighbors and all these things. And Okay, so, um, we've got a few more songs we're going to do. But before that, um, I want to, I've been, when I started doing this vision called Presence, I was in my dining room, 2016. And I don't know why, but I just felt it in my spirit. I was 20 years old. Should be looking for student accommodation. And I said, God, what do you want from me in the next 365 days? And I said it like that. Not one year, because I'm extra. I said, 365 days, every day, what do you want from me? And he showed me a whole host of things. One of them was this tour. That was 2016. And I, he showed me presents. It wasn't called presents back then, but he showed, he showed me presents. And I said, okay, that's great. Who, who's, who's paying for it? Because I'm a student with no job. Everywhere I'm applying to is not hiring me. Ask my parents. I was printing up, just running up my dad's printer ink. Printing it, all right. Running up the paper, printing off job applications. I remember I would go with friends. I'd find a friend from school and we'd hand out applications together. And he'd be like, oh, have you heard from H&M? No. He'd be like, oh. Oh, did you hear from Primark? No. Did you? Um. I'd be like, oh, uh, did you hear from McDonald's? No. Oh, did you hear back? He'd be like, um, yeah. And friend after friend, person after person, every time I'd go hand out the job application, no one was hiring me. And I left school with good grades, you know. And I did all the extracurricular activity stuff they tell you you should do to build up your CV. I was doing Young Enterprise. I was doing all the performing arts stuff. All the, anyway, so I've done all of that. And I said, okay, cool, God. I don't know who's going to pay for this, but I said yes. When I said yes, we're now going into 2017, I started getting asked, being asked to sing at weddings. So I met my little change on the side. It was wonderful. Because now I can buy cheese. Because when you move to uni, you find out cheese is expensive. For moldy milk, it's expensive. <laughs> and so, 
And then when I did presents, and when I tell you, I like scrape together, save up the little money I have. But when I said yes, God gave me favor. You know the first venue we had for presents? Put your hands up if you was at the very first presents. Where put it up high so I can say, Malia, you weren't born, baby. We love you. Is there in the spirit? Amen. <laughs> you remember the, when I tell you the building was rammed, it really was like a, a fire safety hazard. But they gave, they didn't know who I was. They gave me the building for free. Not only that, they gave me the keys to the building. 21 years old and feeling like a church deacon with, with church keys. But when I did presents, it must have been Prince of August, uh, September, two months later. You guys remember I did that show on BBC All Together Now? I did Ordinary People and I didn't win. And I didn't win. We're not streaming, I can say it. We're not streaming, I can say it. Um, but let me tell you something. Do you know that's how I landed the Just Eat commercials? That's how I landed the Lion King. That's how I landed a lot of work. In that, in the, in straight after Presence, then I was doing Stormzy with X Factor. I was doing the Jonathan Ross show with Stormzy. All of this because I told God, yes. So, when you, so people say, how do you do all of this? I said, listen, I didn't do a thing. I wouldn't have even known the doors to knock on, but because I said yes to what God told me to do, God opens the doors. And you know the verse says, the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and brings no? Okay, let's go back to Bible study, church. No sorrow. You said it, with, you said it a bit too timid. But 2017, we did presents. The following year, we did it in London, and we did it again and again. And here we are now in 2023, and God has been amazing. We have seen God do literal miracles. How many of you, um, um, how many of you know my mom? Wave your, wave your hand in the air. Okay, first of all, my mom's amazing. You could have waved your hand with more enthusiasm than that. <laughs> so you remember she used to walk with a stick. Now, if you really remember, she used to walk with two sticks. I still have, I should have brought it and put it on the screen. I have a picture where she left the stick on the altar and she hasn't walked with it since. When I tell you, I've literally seen God do the miraculous. I've, seen, I've had people come to presence and receive healing and recommit their lives. Who was there 2019? We had people come off the streets and get, fall down on their knees at the, in the middle of praise and worship, in the middle of the sermon, and give their life to Christ. Cigarettes in hand. I say that to say you've got to know how to accept them as they are and leave them to God. Anyway, that's the detail. I say all of that to say, look where God has brought us. And if he can do it for me, I know he can do it for you. And so we had the amazing opportunity, my team, to open up for William McDowell and Israel Houghton this year. <laughs> whoop, whoop. And um, it was at Israel Houghton, um, I, a man came up to me and he said, oh, hi, James, you know, we just, we've seen what you're doing and, you know, we really love what you're doing. It looks great. And it's amazing to see you brought young people on board with you because I believe that Moses must raise Joshua. You must find young people to hand the baton over to. It's important. It's important. So let me also add, Hadassah, come on, a daughter of the soil. She's been on the road with us holding down a good auto. And she's been doing an amazing job. Um, it's important. And they said, um, have you ever had someone come and partner with you? I said, no, every year. People think Presence has a sponsor. The sponsor is James Thompson. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it because I'm being obedient. I'll, I'll serve the Lord with joy. I don't mind. But he said, have you ever thought about having a, a partner come on board with you or being sponsored? I said, I've, I've hoped about it. I've prayed about it, but nothing's come as yet and so uh, they've been on the road with us um, and uh, sponsored uh, some of the budget for um, our live album recording and they are an absolutely amazing charity uh, releasing children from poverty in Jesus name I actually had the when I joined uh, got the gospel group Seth and A&T 10 years ago the very first ministry engagement I had was at Compassion Vision, Vision Day, where Seth was partnering them. And 10 years on, there I was at Compassion Vision Day, but this time I wasn't in the back anymore. 
I'm now leading my own ministry. And I'm so grateful that God has done it through compassion. It feels so full circle. So I'm going to invite Luke to come and he's going to talk um, a little bit about what compassion do. Uh, and let's listen uh, with our hearts open. They are an absolutely fantastic charity doing amazing work. Um, and then after that, we're going to have offering. I'm going to give you some sneak peek of the live recording stuff. Yes, a little sneak peek. And then um, and we'll close the night. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for Luke. Good evening, everyone. Oh, my gosh. I have been so blessed to be in the room tonight. Uh, isn't it amazing when God moves and when God speaks? And isn't it good of him that he speaks to us when we come to worship him? Because <laughs> worship isn't about us, is it? I, I, at my home church, I, I, I'm part of the worship team. I'm blessed to be a part of that. And uh, often people say, oh, I didn't get anything from the worship today. It's like, good, because it wasn't for you. It's for him. And so it's amazing to be in a time of encounter with God like this where we come just to bring our worship and praise and adoration to him. And he, in his goodness and his grace, moves in our midst. It's, it's amazing. So thank you, James, for allowing us to be a part of this. And, and to the team, you're amazing. You sound unbelievable. It's uh, incredible. Um, can we just have some keys playing? That would be wonderful. That's going to help me a lot. Um, but my name's Luke, and um, I, I'm uh, proud to represent Compassion UK. And I'm not going to keep you for too long tonight, because we're all getting hungry for our Sunday night supper, aren't we? Um, and we all need to hear James and the team uh, sing again. Um, but it's my privilege to represent compassion, and I love what James was saying about the yes to God. There's something powerful about saying a yes to God. Compassion was founded in 1952, 70 years ago. So for 70 years, uh, children have been being released from poverty in Jesus' name through the work of compassion. And it was founded by a Baptist minister in the United States. And he went to Korea. And if you know more about history than me, there was some stuff going on in Korea with the war at the time, in the 50s. And, um, and this Baptist minister saw some tragic sights while he was there. He thought it was rubbish lying down the side of the road. He, heaps of bags of trash just lying in the streets. And as he left, he realized it was the bodies of orphan children. And he got back to travel back to the States and he felt God say to him, what are you going to do about the children? Will you do something about the children? Will you do something about the children? He couldn't get the thought out of his head. And in that moment, one man said one yes to God in response to that question, will you do something about the children? And now all around the world, there are 2.4 million children in compassion projects around the world. In the last 12 months, 158,000 children in compassion projects have made the decision to make Jesus Christ their Lord and Savior. And so tonight, I wanna to present you with an opportunity to invest in the life of a child, see them released from poverty in Jesus' name, but not that they would just have a hope for their time on this earth, but to see them receive a hope and a future that is eternal. And so I've got uh, a young girl here with me called Naraya. She's waiting for someone to step in and sponsor her for 32 pounds a month. She's five and she's from Tanzania. I was, um, in just a moment, I'm gonna show you a short video. But I was in a service a bit like this, not quite as good as this. Um, when I was 15 years old, I'm 31 now. And so it was about 16 years ago, 15, 16 years ago. And someone a bit like me stood at the front and shared about compassion, how they saw children released from poverty in Jesus' name, saw them clothed, fed, educated, given the skills to not just fill their tummies for a week or two months or a year, but to see them released from the cycle of poverty in Jesus' name. And I was a 15-year-old, sat in the chairs just like you are right now, having had a time of worship 
and felt God say to me, Luke, can you do something? I didn't have much money at the time, just a bit of pocket money and the, what was it called? The money you used to get for going to college per month. I can't remember what it was called. That's the stuff. I can't even remember how much it was, but I had this moment in this service, just like we're in now, and, and, and I thought, I can't change the world, but I can do something. I can't change the whole world right now on my own, but I can do something. You know, in the, in the book of James, you'll be familiar, chapter 2, it says, Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. And I felt my faith stirred tonight as James and the team have been leading us in worship and in encounter and ministry. I felt my faith stirred. But it's not enough for my faith just to be stirred and then to stay in the four walls of a church building that I attended on a Sunday. My faith needs me to do something. And I just want to present you with an opportunity. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. And there's no judgment from me. But could you say yes to God tonight and do something and make a decision to sponsor a child and see them released from poverty in Jesus' name? I'm going to show you a video and then I'm going to wrap up and hand back to the team. And we're going to have an opportunity to... uh, to do this together but uh, if we can show the video watch the screens and then I'll just uh, wrap up I grew up in this place I saw these things happen in my community at the very young age I am exposed to drug selling drug abuse and drug running Lorega is a ring in the air. If you say Lorega, then people will always associate you with drug addiction, with prostitution. Child protection is really one of the most important things that we, uh, partners of Compassion, can do to help the child. I asked them what are the dreams, and most of the mother cried. So I changed the question and I said, okay, if you don't have a dream for yourself, what is your dream for your children? And they cry more. And uh, after talking to more than 200 parents, I can't sleep. I can't sleep because imagining and thinking about, I I will be ministering to this place where people don't have really dreams. When I was young, I don't have any hope. But then when I came to know the Lord, it makes something new. He molded me into a beautiful one because of the hope that He gave me. It's really my dream that they can really be released from poverty in all aspects and can be an influencer in their community. I am now a teacher, so now I can teach more students. I can teach more children, mothers, because God teach me. And I want to use my life as a living testimony to those people who don't know Christ yet. Lorega now is totally different. Before, every taxi driver will not come inside Lorega. Shooting every day. But Lorega now is uh, totally open with the gospel. I am here standing in front of you because I am one of those children. My sponsor was from the U.S. Through her, I am now a graduate student of the Bible School. I always dream with our children because their lives have been giving hope in the community. When other children will see them, it inspires others. Compassion International, the staff, the case worker, plays a major role to instill into the child that there is hope in spite of poverty. And Lorega now is a, is a better place than before. I can say that God is my Redeemer. God is my cornerstone. And He has done beautiful things in my life. So tonight, we have the opportunity to deal some hope. 
to change a child's life, not just the child's life, but their entire family's life. So I was 15, I was sat in a service just like this, and someone like me was giving me the opportunity to say, yes, I can do something, because faith without works is dead. Can you do something? And I just went, yes. My college money, whatever you said it was called, contributed towards it, and I made that decision. And I picked up a young boy who was three years old called Sinteyu from Ethiopia. He was three at the time. I got a letter from him this time last year as he turned 18. And uh, he said, Luke, and well, I was a teenager at the time, and now I'm married with two young kids myself. And so me and my family, my kids, we sponsor him, we, we pray for him together. And he said, Luke and family, I just want to thank you so much. This was on a letter he wrote to me as his sponsor. I want to thank you so much for your support for me. It's changed my life and my family's life. And I want to let you know that as I come to the end of my education, that I'm going to train to become a pilot. It really is. He was three years old on a slip of paper like this, a photo like this. It was actually a young boy with ripped shorts and a girl's jumper on. And I just made the decision to go, God, yes. Yes. And he's saying to me, Luke, will you do something? Yes. And I just wonder tonight, is the same question being asked to you? Maybe the yes is to sponsor a child. Maybe it's, you know, after the ministry time tonight, you've gone, do you know what? There's something I need to do in my life that God's kind of impressing on my heart. But right now in this moment, I want to give you the opportunity to say yes to sponsoring a child. So have I got one of my friends somewhere with these? Who's, who's got these? If you could just stand up for me. And if we've got, I think, six children here, and I've got the seven. So if anyone wants to sponsor Nerea, there's a bit of information about her on the inside from Tanzania. You can come and get this um, as well. I'm just going to leave her there. But if that's you and you're saying, do you know what? I can say yes. Maybe you want to sponsor do this with a friend, maybe you want to do it with a family member, but maybe right now you'd say, look, I'm, I'm just going to do this. Then I'd love you just to slip your hand up, and my friends here are just going to get a profile of a child to you. If you don't want to do it now, you want a couple of minutes to think about it, then you come and see me at the stand afterwards as well. I'll be there. You can ask any questions you want. But right now, I just wonder if there's anyone in the room that's going, God, yes. Thank you so much. That's one child released from poverty in Jesus' name. Yeah, you can celebrate that. Is there anyone else? Just slip your hand up and then uh, we'll get one of these to you. If not, you've just come and look at the profiles on the, at the stand on your, on your, before you leave. I'm just through there and uh, I'd love to chat with you before you go. I just wonder as the team, uh, I hand back to the team and, and, they, and they leave for the rest of the tonight. Maybe you could just ask the question, prayerfully consider and say, God, is this something you want me to say yes to? In Jesus' name, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Luke. You know that there's that verse that says, um, uh, what Ken says, am I my brother's keeper? And we are. Um, and we have brothers and sisters around the world that we in a place and in a position of privilege are able to reach out, reach out to and help. Uh, in terms, you know, when we speak about loving our neighbor, those are our neighbors, and they are, we are our brothers and sisters keepers, you know. And where we cannot give financially, we can give in prayer. Where we can't give financially, we can give in prayer. Come on, you got to believe that your prayer can do, you got to believe your prayer can stretch across the waters, can stretch across the deserts, amen. Everyone's still just sitting in his presence basking. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna collect. Um, we're gonna collect an offering. Uh, like I said, you know, um, we're doing a live album recording on the 25th of November in Birmingham, um, and it really has been a labour of love. When I started Presence, I had no intention of creating an album. It just kind of happened. Um, 
and we thank God because I got to a point in life when I said, you know what, maybe I'm just not a songwriter. Maybe I'm just supposed to sing and that's it. And I was ready to cut off half my destiny just because I couldn't wait on God. And so uh, it was, it's going to be an amazing night. We've got some awesome guests coming. Um, we, I will have flyers around the back um, and some merchandise uh, for you to look at. And you can buy your tickets um, online as well. Um, talk to me afterwards and uh, you, well, the information is on the flyer. And you can talk to me for more information um, about that. Um, yeah, these things cost... Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> I got a quote from the sound engineer and I said to the sound engineer, I'm going to go to bed and sleep and I'm going to message you back in the morning because that's the number you sleep on. That's the number you pray about and then you go to sleep. Um, but I believe in God's providing hand and we are walking by faith and really not by sight because <laughs> I don't see enough zeros on the ends of some of these numbers. But by faith, Noah built the ark. And so by faith, we will build this album. Uh, it's going to be an awesome night of praise, worship, creativity. There's going to be drama. There's going to be dance. Um, and I, I really want to encourage you to come. Uh, it's going to be a great night. I will preview one of the songs for you tonight. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the vision. And even this tour, it takes a lot of resources to put these on. These people, other than, these people don't live in Derby. They live far and so to put all this together, it does take finance. And so I'm asking you to give by revelation um, and to support this ministry. If you've been blessed tonight, if you've been touched, uh, and we would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I think if we have the offering ba uh, baskets at the front, um, or I, I don't know. Yeah, let's have it at the front. Let's have it at the front. I'm not used to having to make that decision. <laughs> but we'll have them at the front. Um, and we're going to do a few more songs. Uh, and so, listen, dance with us. Even if you don't, we're going to put the words up. And they're going to be following us so that the words match what we're singing in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. <laughs> and so, um, some of these songs, uh, you'll know. Uh, my songs, you won't. But the words will be up on the screen. So, join with, in with us uh, where you can. Let's is what I do when I want to get close to you I lift my hands in praise oh, praise is who I am I will praise him while I can how blessed him at all times I vow to praise you in the good and the bad I'll praise you whether happy or sad I'll praise you in all that I go through because praise is what I do I do and I owe it all to you praise is what I do
my people say stone. Ha. I'm a vote. is a workout okay so I put a song out this year who knows what it's called I should have said Jadine Caddy Joel don't answer <laughs> so, Amelia. so I put a song out this year called be with you and it came from uh, a place of rejection it came from uh, a place of hurt um, but out of that God gave me this song um, and I hope it encourages you I hope it blesses you let's go Been let down, rejected. We got the words. We cast aside like two and neglected. Our heart, thank you, in pieces. What when I'm with you, my hope increases. Cause no, 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 no one knows me like you do. Over and over, you prove your love for me is true. 
Wonder is wonder than a thousand spots elsewhere. So wherever you are, I will be there. Step with it. Rock with it. Rock with it. Said I wanna be with you. Late in the midnight, I'm crying. I'm crying. Waiting for joy. Oh, my faith is getting faded, but I shall not be moved. I'm persuaded. Love protects me. Nothing on earth could separate me from your hand. You there is an angel to no spare. So wherever you are, I will be there. Closer than a brother I found that you're a friend I no other Cause you have my back You guard my heart And I feel you are there And you wipe every tear Okay, so this is our last song. This is the sneak peek of a song from the live album recording. Okay, y'all don't sound excited at all. All right, okay, so this song, do you know what? One of the, one of um, the favorite, I can't even talk English. One of the favorite sermons, one of my favorite sermons that I heard my dad preach. Dad, just give a wave at the house. Yes, wonderful. I'm real church of God, so you have to do that. You have to let them wave in the house. That's what you do when you grow up church of God. You have to, you have to do it. There's an unwritten rule book. <laughs> so I remember hearing him preach, and he was preaching about King Jehoshaphat, who's ruling over Judah, and he's got three massive armies that are ready to fight him. Him one, and Judah was a small nation, you know. Judah was a very small nation, and they got three big armies coming up to fight them. And the Bible even says that fear came into King Jehoshaphat's heart. But he prays and he ends his prayer when he says, God, I, you know, I thought you were going to do this. And God, you said that this land was for us and you said you were going to keep us. And he said you were going to protect us here and all of this stuff. But he ends the prayer with, but our eyes are on you. And I remember hearing my dad preach that and it stuck with me. And I started writing this song, uh, I want to say 2016 when I was just replaying the sermon in my head. And the Bible says, it's the morning of battle, and the Bible says that he gathered the worship leaders together to sing praises. Sorry, I missed, missed the part of the story. 
Jehaziel is there when King Jehoshaphat is speaking to God because the nation of Judah have gathered and the Spirit of the Lord comes upon Jehaziel and Jehaziel says, you, speaking from God's point of view, you will not have to fight this battle. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So it's the morning of the battle now and King Jehoshaphat has gathered the worship leaders together and the Bible says that they sung praises for his mercy, for the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Now there's something I didn't realize about this story until very recently. Because every time I picture this story, there are, I'm picturing it like it's mad. There's people there with swords and shields and all kinds of weapons. And they're having their own little sister act two moment on a battlefield. But the Bible actually says that they sang praises and then when they got to the battlefield... The armies had already fought each other because the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord sent ambushments. Meaning, before they even got to the battlefield, they had won. <laughs> You're not hearing me. Three armies said, yo, we're going to come for Judah. But because they said praise before they even got to the battlefield, the armies turned on each other and fought themselves while they were giving praise. So when worship leaders tell you, send up a praise ahead of what's going along, it's biblical. It's biblical because your praise is a weapon against the enemy. You do not know what battles God is fighting, warring and winning whilst you're giving a praise. So this song just says, send Judah first. Let's go. Come on, together. Send up your praise, send up your praise, send up your praise, send Judah. Send up your praise, send up your praise, send up your praise, send Judah first. Praise, send up your praise, send up your praise, send Judah. Send up your praise, send up your praise, send up your praise, send Judah first. Send you the first. Send you the first. My praise can win the battle. My praise can win the battle. My praise can win the war. My praise can win the war. Send you the first. Send you the first. Send you the first. Send you the first. My praise is a mighty weapon. My praise is a mighty weapon. My praise is powerful. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Lift up your Judah. Open up your mouth. Sing. Sigh and cry. The God that is able. God is able. He will. He will Open up your mouth and praise His mercy. Oh, 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 oh. Send you the first. Send you the first. Send you the first. Send you the first. My praise can win the battle. My praise can win the battle. My praise can win the war. My praise can win the war. Send you the first. Send you the first. Send you the first. My praise is a mighty weapon. My praise is a mighty weapon. My praise is powerful. Oh yeah. Forever and ever, 
Choose the band or the singers, the names. You didn't give the names and singers, everybody. I should have done it how Donnie McClurkin did when he did Great Is Your Mercy and he made all the BVs sing. That's what I should have done. But I will respect that they have now sat down and are tired because I've worked them tonight. But uh, I want you to, let's start with the band first because they made, well, come on, he's a son of the soil. Make some noise for my, my namesake, Mr. James Thompson. Let me tell you something. We go to churches and people say, who is that on the keyboard? I say, his name is James Thompson. <laughs> James has been amazing. Make some noise to James. Over here on the guitar is Mr. Chanda. Make some noise for Chanda. Listen, you know when you can get a guitarist that can flow with you, it's hard to find a good guitarist that can flow with you. He started playing things that the Holy Ghost hadn't even told me yet. It's important, so I'm so grateful to have Chanda. Thank you so much. Make some noise. Now, Sandy's not well, you know, but he still came to play. Make some noise for Sandy on Hammond and Second Keys. And I forgot to give you the lem sip. I'm sorry. I'm going to give it to you afterwards. Two. Double for your trouble. Amen. And then I have two MDs. When one can't make it, the other doesn't. When they're together, it's, it's a wonder and a joy. Make some noise for Ashley on drums and Demille on the bass. Let me tell you something. This tour would not have happened about these two. These two just stepped up and stepped in long before the tour even started. And they've helped me to build this. They've helped me to shape this. I cannot do this without the two of them. Please, please make some noise for them. I can't do it without them. And yes, and now the Tri-City Singers. No, I'm joking. <laughs> On soprano, we have Miss Davinia. Davinia, wave to the people. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank God for Brother Ashley and Davinia, their husband and wife, and they come together to support me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm trying to touch the hem of their garment. Anyway. On soprano as well, we have Shani. Make some noise for Shani. You know Shani. She's not a stranger to us. Thank you so much. And she stepped in at the last minute as well. On Oto, you know, she's a daughter of the soil, but big up Miss Hadassah Archer. Come on. I said, to her, I said to Hadassah, I said, I see so much potential in you and I want you to come with, come and join the team because I believe in the greatness that's in you. And I, I'm so passionate about this. Anyone that talks to me about this presence of vision will hear me say this. If you are in any kind of capacity, Find a Joshua, 
find someone to pour wisdom into find someone to pour wisdom it's so important there is so much that gets lost because we don't sit under people that know better than us or we don't take people along with us for the journey it's so important also on Oto, Miss Amethyst Jackson make some noise first time I'm at Amethyst I walked in and I said who is this man singing tenor because she sing tenor like a dude I kid you not she's got such a big range and she's so humble and I'm so happy to have her on the team with me thank you so much Amethyst make some noise for her tenors nice no, let me tell you something it's hard to find a good tenor that is saved and can hold it down but I've known Wesley for must be about 20 years now must be about 20 years. Um, uh, both of our dads passed doing Coventry. His dad passes the Coventry uh, Church of God of Prophecy. And that's kind of how we met. Obviously, those of you know, my dad passed this New Testament in Coventry. And it's been an absolute honor to see. We've been singing, kind of singing together for years. And so it's such a pleasure. And listen, him and his brother are an artist in their own right, you know. And he's still... Oh, I forgot. How many of you saw The Voice? Come, stand up. Him and his brother were on The Voice. If you saw the two brothers singing Mary, Mary, that was him and his brother Jordan. I, they are they are the male Mary, Mary, I kid you not. JW Music, I, go and Google them. I promise you, you will be blessed. When I tell you, their voices are amazing. JW Music, I, go and Google them. I promise you. Wesley, thank you so much. He's really an alto, but we put him in tenor section. And then, uh, last but not least, my brother Nathaniel. Make some noise for Nathaniel. Nathaniel is someone, again, I've known for years. We don't even know how we met. <laughs> but um, we've become real brothers. And I, I'll call him, I'll be like, bro, I need you. And he ne he's from London. He came from Edmonton in North London to, just for today just to come and sing tonight. That's my brother, he always comes and supports me and I love you so much bro. Make some noise for Nathaniel. <laughs> I, I've not forgotten. Listen, there is a singer, she's been with me from pretty much nearly the beginning of Presence. And the only reason why she's not singing is because she's carrying my godson, hallelujah. And she is married to the bass player, Demille Caddy. Come on, just stand up and wave. She always supports me. She always comes. She wanted to sing, and I said, sit down. You are nearly ready to give birth. You're not breaking water up here. I want to thank you so much. Can we also make some noise to my sister, who is also part of the team, JD, who is stepping into her own right as a worship leader. She is killing it at uh, New Testament Church of God, The Rock, and I'm so proud, and she's... Uh, she comes and supports us and sings with us. Alto and tenor, versatile, amen. And I, I, it's not very often, just because everyone's busy and I'm here, there and everywhere, that I get to go out and minister and have both of my parents here with me. And it's such an honor to have both of you. Make some noise for my mom and my dad. I, I, I quite literally could not do this without them. And I'm so grateful for uh, the way that they raised me. That allows, uh, allows me to do this. Um, even for the times I drove them mad. I used to say to my mum, it could be worse. Because I'm saved and I love the Lord. It could, I could be out here on the streets uh, doing all kinds of... Anyway, so that's what I used to say to try and get out of trouble. Uh, I'm, I have the Holy Ghost. You should give God thanks for me. <laughs> and last but not least, it was a really tough decision um, when... My dad was my pastor all my life, and it was a really tough decision when I felt like the Lord was calling me um, uh, away from Coventry and to Derby because um, a part of me felt like I was letting my dad down and I was leaving him. But I'm so grateful that my dad has been nothing but supportive of me while I've been here, but also for Pastor Paul. Come, take my hand, man, come. For, <laughs> for Pastor Paul that has been... Let me tell you something. You know how I ended up with William McDowell? That's how it happened. He said to me, just message them because he met the promoters. And because of that, we got Israel and then we get compassion and then all these things. But he has been nothing but supportive and encouraged me, not just in music, but in, uh, in my prophetic gifting. Um, he covers me. He's, I say he's, um, 
he's like my adopted godfather, he's my second dad. <laughs> so I love him so much. And Mom Mary, who can't be with us tonight, they both have support. And she, you know she would be here, holding down a good soprano in the corner. You know. So I'm so grateful. And um, I said last but not least, it's like a convention vote of thanks, isn't it? Can't sit down. But really, last but not, last but not least, uh, nearly all the dates I've been on, Uncle Pete and Auntie Annie have been with us. They came to Bristol just to be with us. And Auntie Annie has uh, led my prayer team since I think 2019. And she's come and we've seen God move through the both of them in the churches that they have been with me at. And uh, we've seen the power. Because when you're one person, you cannot do everything. And what I've not been able to do, they have been able to reach out and touch the people and bless the people. And I'm so grateful for the two of you. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Because you didn't have to travel with me. And I, I appreciate it. And Auntie Annie also cooks the baddest. Whew, I just feel the wind of the baddest oxtail. And she fed all my team today. Uh, thank you so much. You ain't tasted oxtail till you've had her oxtail. And I want to thank all of you for coming and being a part of tonight. I hope you got what you needed from God. I really do. Um, God is an ever-present help in times of trouble and he really came to set the captives free and I believe even tonight as you go back to your homes and you go back uh, to your places of rest that God is going to is gonna begin to speak to you in new ways and I pray that your ears will be open in the realms of the spirit to be receptive to what God has I feel that so strongly in my spirit God is really doing a new thing and I pray that you will be attuned to receive from him. God bless you. Please don't go that way. Go. Wow. Come on, Church of God, Darby. You know what Pastor Paul says. Don't go this way. Go that way. We've got some merch back there. Compassion are back there if you want to have a conversation with them. Uh, and you can buy some tickets for the album. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Just before we close, I want to say, everybody, thank you for coming tonight. Um, have you been blessed tonight? Three of you, young, grateful. Have you been blessed tonight? Four of you, come on. Have you been blessed tonight? Oh, come on, bless God. I want to say to you, James, you know, I, I, I do a choir in Spain. I've been doing it for many years, and I don't know how this happened. They, they heard James, and they said, I said, I said, I said to them, I'm going to bring this young guy to come and sing. I said to me, really? He said, yes. My Spanish is not very good. So I said, okay. So I spoke to his mom. His mom came and see me in the office before we were in the building because I've known Rose since we were kids. She said to me, now, look after my son. I said, don't worry. So I brought the James and James sang. They went to me, how old is he? I said, 17. I thought he was 27. I said, but how is he sing like that? I said, it's just what he's got. And he has just been amazing. And I just, I just love him. I sit, down, I sit down here smiling with a big grin in my face because I'm so proud of him and his ministry and what he does here. And really, really, and I, I sometimes think to myself, out of little old Derby, um, fanatically says Derby, but Derby, um, we have such a blessing, an anointed person. I'm just really blessed God for you and your ministry. And that you always come back home, no matter where you are, and um, you grow good. And I give God praise for that. And I want to say to everybody, thank you for being here tonight. Um, I, I'm having my Sabbath now, so oh my, my I'm, I'm sabbatical, so I'm, I'm off now for a month. But I want to say to everybody, I'll see you next month, but in the, those who are here. But I want to say to you, it's been a blessing so far tonight. We're going to take a final offering before we finish. Um, it's a carry bag offering. So if you have some rubbish beside you, I want to put it in this bag here. For when I clean up after owner when they're done tonight, right? So if you have some rubbish beside you, right, I want to pass the bag around because we're not cleaning up after you when you're finished. For your mother does not live here. Thank you. Pass it around. Okay, so that's our carry bag off offering. And it applies to the musicians as well because sometimes we find some out of date drinks up there. Give God praise. But I want to say to you, listen, be traveling safe tonight. Um, Sister Annie, thank you for your dinner. Sister Annie, thank, thank you for the dinner. And my sons are looking forward to the oxtail for later. For, so we have Sunday minute dinner for tomorrow. I want to say to you, where's, where's young Zion? That's you, baby, yes. You've done so well. Yes, you with your, you know what drink we're talking about. God bless you. <laughs> okay, let's just, just, well, I have a big prayer. Just give God praise. 
Father, we thank you for tonight that we, we came into your presence. That you would enable us, God, to be here tonight. We ask you, Lord, as we leave from here, give us traveling mercies. Let your grace be upon us. Let your purpose and your word be in all that we do. Bless the presence ministry, Lord, as they go from city to city. Let the recording be a phenomenal, Lord God. Let it be outstanding and unique. And I ask you, Father, wherever their ministry goes, let your Holy Spirit be behind them, beside them, and within them. That you will have the glory in all that they do, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, that you are God all by yourself, brought into your glory. So as we leave from here tonight, put your peace upon us. Let us leave from here our hearts ignited that we came into your presence to and for the glory of God. We thank you, Lord. Amen. And I want you to know, if ever you see James singing anywhere and he's really doing his thing, just remember, he's from New Testament Church of God, Derby. Keep it a record, all right? Now, please don't go that, that way, go this way. But remember, we have neighbors and they're not always welcoming to noise around here. So if you can please keep noise down when we're going. And I have to now go. So go in peace. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.